would never, ever talk to another on this freaking earth. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm back with another video and we're gonna be doing start time. So, I'm gonna tell y'all what's been tea. I was gonna do a Sunday reset video and I finished the video, right? And when I went to go edit, I was like realizing, um, I don't want this video about, the video was about somebody. I was just like, okay, um, what can I do? What can I do? I can do a story time. It's a Tyler Perry movie. So I could do a thousand stories. So before I continue, this is not to bash nobody. It is what it is. I have back, I just laugh at a lot of the stuff that happens. So I was like, dang. Ain't motherfucking shit detail for motherfucking life, period. I would never, ever talk to another so, on this freaking so, earth. I'm gonna put my bonnet on. And I'm going to put my scarf on and I'm going to get ready for bed. I thought you Let's get into the video. We're going to name this person Bum. Because he's a bum. I'm going to give some background information so y'all understand. Before going away for school, I had a boyfriend. We're going to name him Larry. Larry, we was together for like two freaking years and they here dogging me out like this fucking on me and he was just doing mad other stuff and talking i had to do my big one and i told him i said when i go away i'm outside and i was outside period and me and larry break up because he was just like i was being weird right keep in mind i'm outside or whatever so one of the girls on my track team she had like a little party whatever and when I was walking, Bum and his friends called me over, but I just walked. I just kept walking because I don't know y'all through a hole in the wall. And, you know, I knew I don't really know what people. So one of the girls on my team, she was like, Charlie, Charlie, come here. I was like, yeah. And she was like, oh, like, dumb n over there. Like, one of them want to talk to you, whatever. And I was like, okay, cool. But Bum didn't come up to me. It was one of his friends that came up to me. Or whatever and then he was just asking me questions and stuff like that and i was just you know flirting whatever cool and yeah so then three days after i go into the business building because i had to pay my shipping thing for my school or whatever uh, i'm going down and i'm talking to clifford clifford is some fine ass n on my track team because he's just looking at himself because they was like doing like a slideshow or whatever he looked at himself and i was like um it's giving obsessed then bum gonna sit here and say, oh, um, what's your name? I'm like, my name Beyonce. And then he asked for my snap, had my snap in, but he already had me on Snapchat. And then he was like, how did I already have you on Snap? I don't remember you adding me. And I was like, I don't remember either. Maybe you probably added me from them group chats. Because he started texting, but it's nothing serious. It was, was just another boy in my phone. Later, I was crying and I was just feeling so freaking embarrassed and I had a college private story and I had posted something and but I'm gonna swipe up and he gonna be like oh what's wrong to him and he was like oh that's crazy like same night of me and him texting he all like oh come see him I'm like okay but I'm gonna bring my friends he two girls and one boy like just in case something would have popped off of the building so this is the upperclassmen dorm so you know me and my friends we hype as shit upperclassmen dorm we lit as fuck th bruh this gonna come down me a hug and go back to his room i didn't come for this friends looking at me we looking at each other me and him we just started texting whatever it was nothing too crazy i need y'all to understand this this was never my nigga. i made it clear i didn't want no this i'll sit here and fuck up my emotion like my rotation i had going on telling people i was his girlfriend whoa what since when you didn't ask me never sat down and said yeah you my I'm your we never did that that was very much crazy to me and but me and this was like really toxic so national uh boyfriend i'm not posting on this on my nigga you shitting me i'm shit that nigga man blocked me on everything i fuck with you in a way that you was not my i'm not gonna sit here and post you fucking for real be fucking for real i was not doing that 
that shit. But no. And him started like really fighting. He was really arguing all the time. It was a break coming up. I'm gonna go home, regroup. Let me not act funny. So when I get my charger or whatever, he telling me that, oh, he need to find someone to watch his dog. And I was like, oh, why? He was like, oh, because I bought a ticket to NYC. And I'm just looking at him funny because we talked about it. And, like, I was just joking or whatever. But he was dead serious. And I was just so, like, upset. I'm getting mad because I'm like, dang, like, what the fuck? I my friend. And I was just like, oh, like, this nigga bought a ticket. Like, what should I do? I like, okay, like, maybe he's just trying to be cute. I was like, okay. So after I get off the phone with my friend, I'm in bums room just looking at rooms. I leave and I go home. I'm telling my nana, feeling like something bad is gonna happen. I wanna be in a room with him. He can do his own thing. He's grown. He's like, oh, if anything happens to him, you're gonna be the one to blame because he came down here for you. You know, make work. I swear to you, I'm literally telling this lady, I said, no, can I just stay here. I don't wanna deal with it. Like, no. She was just like, really think it's that bad, then yeah, you can come back. The morning of his flight calls me, into me all crazy. People really thought that I used to make this shit up. Like, that he used to talk to me was crazy. So he telling me I gotta go tell the Uber driver to go where he at. I'm trying to tell him it don't work like that. Eventually, just hang up. Like five minutes later, he texts me Uber, and I'll just like send it back to he ends up coming. I ended up ordering the Uber to just go to the hotel because we had to check in by a certain time. Everything like all peaches and come on. I already had plans to get my hair done. Okay, let me go get my hair. He fake getting mad. Just like, oh, like I don't want to do that. I want to like explore and shit like that. Just got here. My hair appointment is tomorrow in the morning. We, we can explore after I get my hair done. So we take an Uber from Lower Manhattan to Uptown. He tells me to download some app. I guess he linked his account with mine. I don't know how he did that, but this really should have been my thinking moment. Like, you're trying to get one up on me after it's getting late and I want to jerk chicken. He didn't know what he wanted to eat. And we start going back and forth. But he eventually ends up getting pizza, and then, like, that night we was cool or whatever. And then I leave in the morning to go get my hair done. I don't know what he was doing. I didn't really care. I had my hair done. I was feeling like a bad bitch. The next morning, he got in the shower first. So he called my friend. This come out the freaking shower yelling at me. Why are you not getting dressed? Twitter on FaceTime with your friend and giggling when you could just be getting in the shower. You would literally just got out the shower. I'm not supposed to get ready. Me and him start going back and forth. This is when I knew I fucked up. So I started packing my stuff. It was like he gonna go explore by himself. He left. Yeah, he brought his PS5. I record that shit. I'm like, who want this shit? I'm selling it for 200. He seen that shit. He come back in the room. It got physical. Calling my eyes out. Calling my nana. Put his hands with me. He's like, okay, come home, come on. About to leave. That's the one thing I told him not to do. You call me again. Girl, just put a scratch on me. Bruh, a scratch damn near threw me. Link me across the freaking room. And like, when I said I blacked out for a second, like, police come. I'm trying to get the fuck out of there. Like, I'm trying to really stay calm about it, but I'm mad. I think I know I'm in handcuffs. Never experienced nothing like this. So, we get to booking. It's me, and then it's bum. Never in my life experienced nothing like that. I'm not built for that type of life. Like, I'm balling my eyes out. I'm like, oh, I like. And it's fun the night there. The next morning, I had court, and they were just like, I will have to come back in like, um, November. Courthouse to the booking thing, you know where I was going. Good thing the lady wrote down the address. I feel like I should have went from the booking hotel to get my stuff and then home, but I literally went straight home. Later on, I go back to the hotel, and I'm like, oh, like, I'm here to pick up my stuff. I gave them my name, and they was like, here. I had 500 in cash. Looking through my bag, it's my money. They were like, the guy that was here, he brought down your stuff, so maybe he got it. I was getting mad. I was like, oh, my God. I've never been in this situation before. I never had somebody steal from me. This is just too much. This bum stole money from me. So, remember how I said something about the Zell thing? I go to my Chase account. He pulled 500. Before y'all ask, yes. Yes, he was. He scared me. Stole a band from me. He all like, can't do it. He says that money was transferred from my account to bum. Your dead ass motherfucking wrong. Punch was an understatement. I was, I was ready to go back to jail. I was just so freaking 
get angry. I have I bought by myself. Nobody be like, here you go. I really felt some type of way. First of all, someone I literally let into my life, played in my face, went through mad stuff I don't normally go through, and you stealing from me just because the stuff that I got, oh, I got it like that? No. The situation happened, blocked. Block became his best friend. It was like this, locked in for life. Me and my sister ended up going back home. I didn't get back on campus like a week later. Everybody knew what happened and supposedly I done got the, the bum locked up. It didn't make you do what you did. My brother told me, play your cards right. After the case closed, I said fuck that There was a lot of other stuff that went into it. Bum was very, bum a very bum behavior. The lesson that I took away from that situation happening to me you really never know who you dealing with so before you actually really deal with somebody you really get to know them as a person I never thought that bum but still for me who are not who they say they are because you think y'all cool really plotting on you because i should have known something was up when he linked my account with his account i guess it's the end of the video I I love you guys and I hope you guys really stay with me through my journey on YouTube. This is my second video, period. We nailed that. Bye, -bye guys.